Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zelda. I know it's been a while since I, <laughs> well, it's kind of been a while since I've done a Let's Play in general, but we're back, we're back. And if you remember at the end of the last episode, I did say that we will be probably starting in a, uh, a location that was familiar. And here we are in Kokiri Forest. I think it's, yeah, it's daytime. Okay, so we're doing good. We're, well, I guess it doesn't matter if it's day or night, but we have to, well, I guess Navi's not talking right now. It's one of the very few times she's not freaking talking. But, uh, what Navi says is, What would Soraya think about going to see Princess Zelda? What do you think she would say? So what you have to do is you have to come all the way back here to the Lost Woods, which kind of conveniently, uh, and I don't know why the game does this, but when you're a kid and you save your game, it always starts you off in the Lost Woods. Did I do this already? Guys, I cannot remember if I've done this. It's been so long since I freaking played. But, uh, we're going to skip over that. <clears throat> Just in case. Even if I didn't do it, it's not like it really matters. Oh god, not the L. Not the fucking hell. Hey, hey, over there, Nippy. Good to see you again. Listen to this. Hoot, 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 hoot. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you ready to say again? No. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. <laughs> just dies. Now, what he's saying is, um, whichever way the music is loudest is the way you're supposed to go. So you check this out. Okay, so actually here, that's, that's sort of a bad example. Uh, you guys will probably be able to hear it. So the music sounds sort of normal right now, right? It's just kind of like, oh, it's just the beat. And if I walk over this way, it's like just the beat. It's like just the beat of the music, right? But if you walk over here, see how the music gets louder? Right, that's how you're supposed to find your find your way through this place. And I think it's actually a really cool way for them to, uh, to show it. By the way, I got a haircut. This is the haircut you're probably gonna be seeing in my next big video that I do. Um, nope, see, not that way. Oh, it's getting louder this way, so this must be it. Much, 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 this much bad. I don't think it's this way either. I think it's left. Yeah, see, it gets really loud over here. And then I think it's right. Yep, see, there we go. See, now, if this, if that wasn't the right way, it would have, the music would have gotten quiet. And here we are in the sacred forest meadow. Oh my goodness gracious. This is... Boom, baby. One hit kill, bitch. Now it does now obviously you don't know this. And I guess it kinda of would have been hard for you to even for players to even know this. But uh, this is where Soraya likes to hang out. This is the place where she likes to hang out. Now what you can do is you can just kinda of go through here. Let's see there we go. We're gonna hit these little chumps. Fucking get fucking get them and get their hearts. And Well, I guess that's about it. Yeah. Um, just so you guys know, oh shit, not that way, wrong way, gotta go through this way. I, I like how the camera angle switches, so it's almost it's almost like you're playing like uh, Link to the Past or something like that. It's got this cool top-down view, it's so cute. But, uh, um, you will see a lot less content probably on this channel, and I don't mean to say there will not be any more content on this channel, period. But, uh... There won't be as much content on this channel, and the reason for that is because uh, I'm going to really, really try to be focusing on my main channel from now on, um, because that that's those are the videos that people want. Like people want the main channel videos, so I'm very sorry. Uh, oh, I need to quit fucking talking because we got some game shit going on. We got some we got some cutscene shit going on right now. All right, so we have Soraya sitting here playing her ocarina, which I thought I thought she gave her ocarina to Link, but maybe she just had an extra one laying around. She's like, here you go, little chump. Here you go. So, she's playing her ocarina, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Nitpick. This is the sacred forest meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. Foreshadowing. <laughs> if you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Okay. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Yes, let's do it together. Okay, try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? Okay, so here we go. Soraya's song, down, right, left. Okay. It is it is pretty impressive how they came up with all with all these songs. I think um, it was tat. Oh god, fucking playing playing without the C buttons is just a pain in the ass. There we go. You like have to play slow because the game will be like, no, you did it wrong, you did it wrong. But um. So now we have Soraya's song, which allows you at any time to talk to Soraya. So, you know, if talking to Navi wasn't enough for you, you know, you now you can talk to Soraya. Please don't forget this song. Do you promise? 
When you want to hear my voice, play Soraya's song. You can talk with me anytime. But yeah, uh, I do plan on uploading Mario Maker videos here pretty soon. Um, you've learned Soraya's song. Uh, but yeah, and I also plan on starting up like some new series. This is this is honestly like nitpick plays is probably gonna be like my experimental experimental channel. But yeah, um, just like I'm like I'm. Fuck you. Oh god, I can't. I, I can't. Uh, I can't keep getting hurt. I'm gonna end up getting killed. Let's see if this guy gives me a heart. Oh, no heart for me. Uh, fortunately, I do know where there's a secret. So let's come up here. I'll show you guys a secret. For when you're low on health, you can jump down here in this hole. You can jump down here in this hole. And it takes you to the fairy's fountain, which I can't remember if I have a bottle or not. Do it. Did I? I got a bottle last episode. I know that. There we go. And what you can do with this bottle is you can capture one of these fairies. You can capture a fairy so that when you die, when I inevitably die in the area I'm about to go to, look how blue Link's eyes look. Oh, he's such a dreamer. He's such a dreamer. He's so cute. I just wish I could date him. Oh my god. I just, I just want him to be inside me now. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm very sorry for the lack of content on this channel, especially for those of you who really do enjoy watching me do Let's Plays. But uh, many more people enjoy watching my main channel content, like, I don't know, like 10 times the amount of people <laughs> enjoy watching my main channel content more than watching my uh, Let's Play content. So uh, I'll be doing, I'll still be doing Let's Plays on this channel, but they're not going to be as often. I know I have it set to where it's like, uh, you know, who cares? Who cares what you have to say? Shut up. But I will have it set to, um, I have like a banner on this. No, no, no. No, okay, please, please shut the fuck up. Please, please. My children, I need to get home to my children. They're dying. My children, my children. But yeah, there will be less content on this channel because I want to focus on my main channel. That's, that's that. That's that. And it's really hard for me to focus on my main channel and YouTube in general because I have a job, I have school, blah, 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 which if my main channel takes off enough, I'll just, I don't, I hate to say this, but uh, actually my main channel takes off enough, off enough, I'll just stay in school and quit my job, but it's not anywhere near that point right now, so anyways, okay, now that we have Soraya's song, I'm going to just sort of skip to the area we need to be at, so I'll be right back with you. So we're back in Kakurgo Village, where the uh, guard opened the gate for us last time. So we're going to actually go up this uh, area. And for those of you who don't know, this actually does lead to Death Mountain, which I think it's going to tell you right now. Death Mountain Trail. Oh my goodness. Now, Death Mountain was in, I think, every previous Zelda game. Um, in the first Zelda, Death Mountain was this sort of, almost almost sort of like Lost Woodsy kind of thing. By the way, see this like little... I always thought these looked like carpets, but I, I think they're supposed to be rock. You can blow those up later, but we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out in due time, ladies and gentlemen. These things jumping around are tech tikes. I believe that's what they're called. Red tech tight. Lock onto it as it jumps. So you you kill these things so they can't mess with you. And uh, I don't think anything happens here. Oh, look, there's a piece of heart up there. Which, since we're not doing a three heart run, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Forget the piece of heart. Forget you ever saw that. Unless you're, unless you're playing through it with me, which... Which, if you're playing through with me, I'm really sorry, because I haven't made an episode of this damn fucking game for like two months. What's wrong with you? You should have played- you probably played through this game and beat it by now. There is a rolling Goron right there that will try to roll into you if you go up the uh, side path. And that's why I went up that uh, left path and then jumped off onto the side path. But yeah. Anyways. But yeah, in the first Zelda game, I think Death Mountain was sort of a, like, mazy area. Where you'd have to, like, go from screen to screen and figure out the pattern to where you um, could get through Death Mountain to the actual temple that it was hiding. And um, I think it's the exact same way. I want to say it's the exact same way in the second Zelda. And I think in, what is it? The fucking, oh yeah, see there's, oh yeah, by the way, there's a few things you can do here. So check this out. Uh, actually here, let's put this down here. Let's, I like to keep the ocarina on bottom. But, um, and in this, in the, uh, in, in Link's, Link to the Past, Link's Awakening didn't have a Death Mountain, but Link to the Past did. Oh yeah, it doesn't do anything until I, I can't use the stick yet. No, not the stick. All right, so there's this carpet. This this, this part's kind of weird. So Navi kind of hovers over these places, by the way, where you can play 
the ocarina or where there's something that's going on. And you kind of have to figure out that you can play the ocarina. And the only way that you really know is because, here, when you press down on the... When you press the button for the ocarina, it goes... And that's supposed to be like, oh, you're supposed to play the ocarina here. But it's like, okay, well, what am I supposed to play? Well, you play Zelda's Lullaby, the song of the royal family, and that opens up the door for some I don't know, man. See, I don't know how I was, I would have ever figured this out when I was a kid if I didn't have a strategy guide, to be completely honest, because it's, that's so random. So you come in here, you talk to, um, Darunia, that's the name of this Goron. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, finally really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face! No! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? <laughs> Ancient creatures have infested the Dalagos Hammer! We have had a poor harvest of a special crop, the bomb hammer! So I'm sorry, Hunter, but that's the wrong story! But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. So, he will say pretty much the exact same thing if you just keep talking to him. So what you have to do, and another thing, it's like, how would I know to do this unless I had a strategy guy, but you press, you press down and does, it goes, and you're like, oh, well, do I play Zelda's lullaby? I don't know, I don't know. But you have to play, oh, I hate this! I hate using this freaking thing. Bum, bum. Why do you fucking do this? Down, right, left, down, right, left, thank you. <laughs> but that makes him happy because he hears Soraya's song. I mean, like, how the hell would you have known that? Those are two thing, two things in a row that are so fucking cryptic. How would you have known that when you were playing this game? Oh, well, well. Maybe I have to play uh, the royal the royal lullaby on my ocarina to get in, and then I have to play the Soraya song. How would you know? There's no way you would have known that. So he does this little dance. Come on, come on, ha! He catches on fire and he dies, and and that's the end of the game. No. <sighs> so he um does this dance for a while. <laughs> Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone, says my voice. Something just came over me. I suddenly want to dance like crazy. I'm Darunia. Yeah, you said that. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly... Why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? Alright. That way everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want. Even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. <laughs> if you wear this, even a little fella like you can pick a bomb flower using A. So he gives me the, the Goron's bracelet. Which actually shows up on Link, which is something I always thought was really cool. See, check it out. See, look, now I have now I have this C on his left arm, he now has this bracelet. Isn't that cool? I always thought that was really neat that, like, there's a few things in this game. I mean, I, I guess pretty much everything you equip shows up on you, on your character. And, and I think that was something that was really neat for the time. Oh, by the way, here, so here's something we can do. <clears throat> Grab this DQ stick. And as you saw, there was, like, all those unlit torches outside, right? So this is what we do. There we go, yeah, turn it around, big boy. Turn it around, can you turn it around? Try to make a comeback with nowhere to start from now. But it's looking up. That's a Bowling for Soup song. I'm sure none of you fucking know that song. <laughs> like so old Bowling for Soup. You probably know Bowling for Soup. 1985. Springsteen, Madonna, way before Nirvana, there was U2 and Blondie, music still on MTV. You probably know them. That's, 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 uh, that's them. Okay, so what that does is it sets, it sets the pots a moving, and if you throw in, if you throw bombs into the pot, I don't know why, I just like to like those torches, it's, it's the OCD kid in me. Um, if you light those torches and throw bombs into that pot that's spinning right there, you can get a, uh, you can get a piece of heart, I believe. If you throw it in enough times, because I think you throw it in the first time and it spins a little faster, throw it in the second time it spins even faster, then if you throw it in the third time I think it drops a piece of heart for you, if I remember right. And over here, we have uh, a hidden entrance, so you pick this bomb up, and you hear the music? Yeah, that's where we just were. 
And what this does is uh, it blows up these um, it blows up these boulders, and that lets us go to uh, the Lost Woods now. It's like a little shortcut. So, I mean, you don't really need it that much. Well, I guess I could use it after I leave here. But uh, I think I could take the twig up here and light these, but I'm not sure what that really does. You know what? Here, let's do it. It's been a while since I've done this, so there we go. So if you roll, if you roll your little hiney on up here, roll your little hiney on up here, then go over here, light that, and oh, okay, so it's just, I think it, it just lights it, it's just like, oh cool, you have it lit now, yeah. So these stay lit, these will stay lit forever, and this thing I think spins forever, I want to say, I'm not exactly sure though. So we're, we're going to do one more thing before we end the episode, I know, That's, this is like the second fucking episode in a row that we haven't gone to a dungeon. The next episode will go to a dungeon, so don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. There will be action here in two months. <laughs> I'll try to get the episodes out sooner than that, but there will be most likely maybe one or two episodes. They're going to be fucking trickling out, man, I'm telling you, because I, I do want to record the Mario Maker episodes. But yeah, so we have this bomb here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Bomb. You throw it down there, and I, I don't know if that... Was that a perfect throw? Oh, yeah, it was, bitch. So that blows a hole inside the, and the fucking rock goes cray cray. Hey, there's some rocks for the Gorons to eat, right? Wasn't there some kind of rock problem? Now they can eat that, eat that rock. Why, did, why weren't they munching on? They should have all been out there munching on that rock. Now this is something that's actually cool you can do, by the way, guys. Um, normally, to access this piece of heart right here, you have to go and get these seeds and plant a fucking plant. But what you can do is this. Oh. Well, if you jump better than I did, you can actually just jump straight onto that and not even have to worry about getting any seeds at all, which is nice. It saves you a little bit of money. And this will be the end of our episode once I blow this wall up. Shed her on down, Link. Let's get this show rolling. Let's take a look. Take a look at the damage. There we go. Dodongo's Cavern, which is the next dungeon we're going to be doing at the start of the next episode. I'll probably just start right here. Make it easy on both of us. Just start right in the freaking dungeon. So let's save this game up. Alright. Question of the day. Okay, so question of the day. We're kind of approaching Halloween. Um, what was your What's your scariest Zelda moment? Like, what's the moment that in playing any Legend of Zelda game where you were the most scared? Either for yourself or for the protagonist Link or for whatever. But let me know in the comment section what your scariest Zelda moment was. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.